y'all. APG Jamie here. And today we have a secondary follow up video. Uh, this one is Let's Use Faux Rust. And the previous one was Let's Do Faux Rust. So, first we're going to make some tag reinforcement uh, circle thingies. And I'm using a three quarter inch punch that's on its last leg, y'all. It's not sharp. It's plenty sharp. It's just not punching quite correctly. And that's a regular hole punch. I punched more or less in the center. And there we go with our hole reinforcement. You can make your own, you know. Any hoot. I have my rusty bits. And the how I did all of those is in the previous uh, videos posted on the same day, the same time. Um, I'll try to link. I just got to remember to do all these things, you know, mm -hmm. when I upload. So, any hoot. Ta-da! <laughs> so, on this particular one, I decided to go around the edges and I'm using a black Sharpie. Um, I think this is the only one I even did the black sharpie on. Some of them I may have used ink on them and uh, some of them I may not have. I, I decay. I don't remember right now. That is a uh, those are the bits out of the stencils that we did uh, faux rust techniques on. We used uh, Verdi which is a four color mix or four color patina set. We did uh, Prima Rust Effects, which is a three color. We did Folk Art uh, Paint Effect or Paint Finishes, and that's a two color. And then I did regular acrylic paints. Um, and I will try to link all, all that stuff up because, yeah, because I'll try, y'all. I will try. So uh, we're going to use these rusty bits that we spent so much time on making. And we're going to put them on these coffee stained uh, tags that I've done previously. Wouldn't even know if I could find that video, so but I'm sure it's in one of my staining, dying videos somewhere. That's a napkin, y'all. Don't you love it? It's an antique looking lace napkin. So, yeah. I love it. And I am using a uh, Liquitex matte medium to adhere that down with. I did remove the, the back layers, the white parts. Always, always, always you want to do that. And remember you want to put it on a light colored background because dark colors will really wash out uh, the napkin more than it would be otherwise. So I'm going to use this stamp. I don't know who made this stamp because that was back in the day. I've had it so long back in the day when I didn't keep track of who was who. Y'all. Okay. Okay. And it didn't stamp that much. And you can't, I can't see on the little screen, on my editing screen, if you can even see the color. But it did add in real life just a teeny tiny touch bit of color to, to it. Okay, which is what I was going after because I've already, this is a Tim Holtz paper doll and I have pre-colored her with uh, some archival inks. I didn't film that part because I thought, do I, I just was just, you know, in the moment going along. So, you know, we have that. Uh, coming up, I thought when I got when I did a second one, I thought, well, let me show y'all how I did it. And I used these little uh, wick type pen things. I don't even know what they are, y'all. I've had them so long I don't even know. And uh, but I'll show you. I just don't know the name of. It. See, she's cute. She got a little pink lips and some little pink cheeks and some brown hair. And I tried to make her dress. Uh, greeny patina e and uh, I don't know. Now we're going to put some shading around her and we're going to use the uh, Stabilo All and my favorite water brush. It's a cheap one. I bought it on clearance 100 years ago so I know. Who knows what brand it is? I don't know. That's a piece of the white backing off the napkin and I'm just going to use that to double up a little bit of that excess uh, color. 
And I thought, yeah, let's go ahead and shade on the other side too, because why not? <laughs> this is a longish video, y'all. And I think it's one of my longest ones that wasn't a recorded live. Just saying. It's, it's like 44 minutes. I mean, three quarters of an hour. Hicking, y'all. So, yeah, we're making a lot of tags. I did cut out portions, and as you can probably tell, I spit up portions, too, as well, also. <laughs> and that's a, a foam... Um, thick uh, fun foam thing I don't think it's technically fun foam because I believe I got it in packaging of some sort 75 years ago and those are some rust bits love those rusty bits y'all I got all my rusty stuff together now so anytime I want to make rusty stuff I have it all together and I could just make my choice because I've got my uh, my cards with it, my sample cards to show me what's what and how it looks and junk like that. So, yeah. And these are about the size of a hole punch. Um, these are the, the, the bits, the, the, the stencil punch out stuff. Because we use stencil cards to uh, make the rusty things stuff, y'all. And I'm just gluing it on with my favorite glue. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. She almost looks a little forlorn, but, uh, you know, so it goes. That's how us little brown-headed children was. A little forlorn sometimes. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to ink around the edge. And I, I learned this double inking technique uh, feature from uh, Rach and no I don't have her channel she's Rach 0113 or something like that per sure y'all anyway you ink with a color you know coordinating color typically um, or clashing color I guess it really doesn't matter and then you go over that actual edge with a, a bit of black and it just pops like nobody's business don't you just love that word pop and haven't you missed it because people haven't been saying it quite so much pop so now we're going to put on some um these are art angels art stones and um they're like a flat back diamond but they're all uh cut and crisscrossed and they're so cool y'all that's the only sheet of them i have and i sure like them they're, they're, they're pretty small, pretty small. And uh, we're putting each one of those on those little um, crusty bits there because I liked it. You got this. Mm -hmm. That's what our little forlorn girl saying. You got this. Don't her hair look pretty? Oh, I'm so happy with her brown coffee hair. So here comes our next Tim Holtz paper doll. And I thought, well, I don't want to use a napkin on the background. Let's put some blue glitter is this glitter glue from studio g okay and it's pretty old and you could probably tell it's kind of old because it's 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 not smearing out so great but it's still working it's still working okay fine so we're going to use it maybe one year we'll use it all up and you know i don't think i cleaned my brush after i used that glitter glue just saying i think i forgot i don't know I might have rinsed it, but that was about it. Here can y'all. And here, that's that little pin thing. It's got like a felt tip on the end, and then I'm just using it to suck up some of that, um, I think that's manganese blue. It's archival ink. It's my archival ink. So um, we're just going to put it on her bow, and I'm putting it on there, and it's not coming out blue like I hoped because these do have that sepia type coloring to them uh, so it is actually kind of turning to patina green garden patina green okay so yeah that's okay we go with it and I, that just tucks right in there on uh, some of the other smaller boxes I have uh, repositional 
repositional uh, double-sided tape on there and the little pin doohickey just clicks right on there and we added just a teeny teeny tiny bit to her lips and a teeny teeny tiny bit to her cheek so she's rosy cheeked and my little screen's not showing it so I don't know you might be able to tell in the photo montage that's still not quite dry so let's see kind of some more <sighs> that's dry and this is the yellow uh, gold gold rust from the uh, Prima portion stuff. Some of them I remember. Some of them I don't. So there we go. You can refer back to that video. There will be a link in the description box below. Click on the phrase show more to see more information, including a complete list of ingredients, mostly complete. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions, drop me an email or leave a comment below. <laughs> I'll do my best to stay up you. I have cut out several bits of this video and sped up most of it on account of it's still like 45 minutes long and I, I worked on these for a long time because sometimes it takes me a while to decide what I'm going to do. So, um, yeah. <laughs> There's that. Let me, get, let me get a little drink here. Ah, sweet tea. Well, not so sweet. Just tea. A little sweet. So, um, we're going to cut her legs off, too. I'm saving them legs. I don't have any plans for them, but, you know, something might come up. Because we do, we mixed media people, we like to save our trash. Okay? Otherwise, it would have been in the recycle bin. And it may end up there one day. So we're going to shadow around the girl because we shadowed around our uh, rusty bit piece and now we're going to shadow around her with the stabilo all, which I think I forgot to put in the list of ingredients. So now we've said it, so maybe we'll, I don't know, maybe we'll remember, maybe not. And we're doing that and I'm liking that and people are mowing their yards. I don't know if you can hear it or not. I can hear it. You probably can't hear it. Hopefully not. So we cut off, trimmed off those little bits because yeah. So here we're going with our blue and we're going to go around the outside like Rach taught me like I like. I don't always do it but I do like the effect it, it gives a richness of more of a depth. More depth. They're deeper even. So, and that's just black archival on a piece of cut and dry, uh, what is that stuff called? Cut and dry foam? I don't know. I like it for edging. It's quick, easy, and it's right there. So, we've got a, uh, these are some phrases that I have typed all up on my computer and computer printed onto cardstock. And, um, yeah. I'm using bits of the uh, pop dots. You know, it comes and it's got the little dots in there, but you also got all that edging stuff. And, you know, I like to save absolutely every hay penny I can. So, there we go. Saving it. Because, mm-hmm. I might need it for another time. Favorite clue. Sticking it on there. And um, this is not a phrase I thunk up. It's just one I borrowed. Let's see if, I don't know. We might get a close-up any day or not. There's not a close-up of each ever tag at the end in the photo montage. But you'll get a photo montage later at the end. Just wait for it. So I put that tag on there and I decided, no. I just don't like it, so we just pull it off. I can do that. And I thought, she needs a diamond. Let's put a diamond on her head. So get a little diamond. We put the little diamond on there. And I want a bigger diamond. What can I say? She needed a bigger diamond. Oh, yeah. Bigger diamond. 
I worked on these. Uh, it was probably a full day just with the tags, trying to decide which bits and bots I wanted to use and stuff like that. And, you know, glue some, walk away, eat lunch, and peel fart, check my email, what, what not it. This piece of seam bombing. Seam bombing? Ha! <laughs> seam bombing. What did it say? For most of history, Anonymous was a woman. Just because you know that's right. You know that's right. So here we're going on. And I think that's a Tim Holtz uh, thing, picture thing. I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's a cabinet card. But anyway, I don't know for a fact, y'all. Just various brands of uh, ephemera, store-bought ephemera, and it's, those are die cuts. Those fern leaves are die cuts. I don't know the name of the die, y'all. Just saying. And that's our, it's really not a rust, it's a patina piece. Even though I categorize them all as rusty bits. Because it's just easier for me that way. And I'm cutting that apart. And we're just going to watch. I'm like, yeah, I like that back there. And I don't know. And I've, I had already fixed the sentiment I was going to use with this one. And I end up uh, not liking it on there. I'm like, no. It's just, I don't know. It just doesn't, it feels out of place. I oh, love these. Love these cards. Tags are not cards. They're tags, y'all. But you know, you could send, you could stick, temporarily stick a tag on a card front, y'all, for a card, for a greeting card. Mm hmm. You could. I don't know why not. So, now we're going to use some art glitter glue. Now, I'm kind of liking this glue, okay? Not necessarily my favorite, but I'm liking it. What I really, really, really like about it is how easily it flows out of that needle tip on the, uh, that metal tip on, that's on the tip of the glue. Tip, tip, tip. And um, I really, I really like that. I can't get that with my absolute favorite Aileen's Original Tacky Glue because it's just too thick. It's Original Tacky Glue. And it's pretty thick stuff, y'all. So, I'm like, yeah, I'm digging that. Not exactly how I was originally going to did it, but that's how it got did now. Because somebody didn't take a picture beforehand. They just thought they could remember. And, you know, you just can't always remember when you're doing so many things. So, it's like, yeah, let's put this down. See, that's why that tip comes in real handy right there, just saying. And it's a, it's a fairly decent clue, too, y'all. I wouldn't say it's runny, but it's not thick, either. I equate it to the Scotch uh, brand Quick Dry. Okay? Just throwing that out there. So, and I decided I'm going to make that a pocket. And you don't see me make it a pocket just yet because I'm still goofing around. I'm like, I need to trim somehow or another. I got it edged over to the edge too much. So I'm just going to trim that a little bit and bow around those corners because I uh, can't put the ink on like that. So we got to put the ink on there. That's plum. That's a plum. That's the black. My voiceover would probably get all off kilter and everything would be out of line. And I would have black inked it five minutes ago or not even done it yet. I'm like, yeah, I'm digging it. This one is, this is one of the ones that looks better in person. It's, isn't that funny how some things photograph really well and others not so well, but they look great in person? Yeah. It's funny how that works. Optical illusionist. 
So that's just some pop dot, you know, the edges again. Because I want to use every little bit I can. I paid for it. I want it. Even though I bought it on clearance, I'm sure I want to use it all. Use every bit that I can. I want to get every skinny, tinny, tiny sliver of a penny I can get out of it. Mm-hmm. And I'm sticking that on there and I'm like oh I wanted to make a pocket this is when I pull it off and I make it a pocket y'all oh yeah pocket <laughs> so, and now to do that to do that you make um, you just glue three sides and you get a pocket and you put glue back down there where you'd already had glue on it and now you took it off Because I'm going to end up sticking my sentiment in that pocket. Mm-hmm. We'll get there. In a year. So we're going to use these here uh, dark or deep red. Uh, they're almost garnet red flat back diamonds, y'all. They're pretty. Well, let's put a big one there. And now it looks off balance. So it's like, okay, well, we'll just put some over here. This whole side's kind of light, isn't it? So, yeah. We haven't inked it yet either. I'll probably show you that part, and I guess I probably could have taken out some of the ink in the edges. But so it goes. So it goes. Yep. And that little pen in there. You need that, because a lot of pens will rust. Don't use them, y'all. And I've lost this pen like twice and found it. Thank goodness my angels help me find stuff sometimes, y'all. Well, most of the time I just got to remember to ask them to help me. Help me, y'all. I lost it. Can't seize it. Help me, help me. And they do. They help me, help me. So I decided to put that little gray uh, fern piece on the back of that. Because now it's going to be sort of a tag. Well, it is a tag. It goes in a pocket and it's got a thing on it. So here's our um, our little ribbon stuff. And I think one of them's like an eyelash trim, but it's not really an eyelash trim. It's kind of weird. It's yarn of sorts. And then we've got just some regular crochet cotton thread. You see, that's going to slide in there. I did not put. Uh, any um, bits of cardstock around the edge so I didn't build up my pocket. Some of my pocket's actually a little too flat for this, but that's how it goes. You know, sometimes things just come out the way they are, and that's that. So you gotta gotta make it wanna get in there. But look how nice that looks. Ta-da! And uh, the phrase says, if it's not one thing, it's your mother. I thought that was funny. I think this is my husband's favorite card. to saying. I think. He liked all of them in this set. I think we make seven in total, y'all. Yes, I do. I show you every single one of them. That's why it's such a long video. So oh, if you get tired of listening to me, turn your volume off. And I shut up just like that. Otherwise, you will hear me rambling, bambling on about what I'm doing on screen. Oh, look. That's so pretty. That's nice. Now we're going to use this um, Birdie, Birdie, Bettina rusty bits or not rusty they're patina bits anyway and I'm pretty sure that's garden patina I'm putting on there it's just one of my paper. oh no that's um that's French blue or forget me not that's French blue ultramarine French blue pretty sure I don't think I put that in the description box I don't think I wrote that color down I try to I do try to keep track of what I use y'all because 
y'all ask so many questions sometimes. It's just, oh, I don't know the answer. Oh, I probably do know the answer. If I don't know it, I'll make one up. <laughs> and again, I didn't build up uh, the background bits for the pocket. I do end up showing y'all how to do that. And I do recommend it because when you stick pockets flat on like that, there's not a lot of space in there. And you just have to put like a really flat paper in there. So... I'll show y'all in a little while one of these years how to do that and we're just gluing those on here. I'd already pre-arranged, pre-thunk out, figured out what I was going to do with these bits. And it was pretty easy so that's why I'm just going along. I didn't even take a picture but I remembered. This time I remembered. Not every time. I try to take a picture. I recommend try to take a picture. So, am I still recording? Yes, yes. My little digital recorder still going. That little pen gets a little hard getting in there. It's a flat back pearl and I could have used the larger one but I already had these right there so that's what we're using right there. It just slips right in there. It looks so cute. I don't think I put anything in her pocket. Did I? I don't think I did. Mm -mm. Does she even get afraid? I don't even know if she gets afraid, y'all. I don't remember. Uh, that is some pale pink crochet cotton thread and a little bit of lace. I thought it would uh, look nice because I'm thinking it's a picture of her wedding day, y'all. Her wedding day. She got the marriage. And the flowers that she holding uh that she is holding are um in a very pale pink. It looks like the photograph was uh colorized. It's not a real photograph, it's a it's a faux ephemera ephemer uh bit. Now that's the rusty bit and it was a flower and I'm like, no, nope, didn't work on there. So we cut it apart and we're just going to use those pieces. The fourth one looked weird and off balance. So we'll put that in our baggie with the, our remaining crusty, rusty bits. And those three things came off out of the stencil too. There's four of them, but I only used three. And that's on a, a faux airmail stamp. And I thought they reminded me. Okay, they reminded me of birds. You know how when you paint distant birds, they they all look like that. You know, or it could be uh, almost not exactly, y'all. Don't get technicals on me, you people. That almost looks like a sergeant stripes. Doesn't the sergeant have three stripes? Pretty, pretty sure. So, yeah. And that is, um, that color is um, Phoenician orange because the one piece of ephemera, those store bought ephemera, uh, was orange. Okay, it talked about uh, National Letter Writing Day or some such. I covered that part up. And uh, yeah, so there's that. Uh, uh, uh. I want her just a little bit cricket. And she's not a pocket. <laughs> not a pocket. And she's holding a letter. It's hard to see on the uh, on the screen, but that's what she's doing. This is a pocket or more apt, probably more like a, a tuck spot. And here comes our uh, sergeant stripes or our birds, depending on which one makes you happier. And we're going to glue those right over the aeroplane because I wanted to. The whole point of doing these tags is to use those rust, rusty and patina bits. How to use or let's use rusty bits. Mm hmm. This is a follow-up video of sorts, and hopefully we have remembered to link. 
in the description box below. Click on the phrase show more to see more information. And in the upper right hand corner. Okay. Okay. So we're just gluing them all on. And I'm like, let's use these rivets on here. See, those are the rivets we painted before. If I can remember, I'll try to link that video. I don't know. No promise. No guarantees. So we're going to put those on there. And they virtually disappear on top of that uh, faux rust bits, y'all. Just saying. So I grab some of the orange uh, Prima Patina. No, it's the gold one. Gold, rust, whatever it is. And we will add just little teetsy tightsy touches to the tops of each one of those little rivets. It says, Guy and God. It's just like it's three down here. That's cute. So cute. And of course, I did put something in the pockets and I die cut some letters because it talks about letters. So I die cut some letters and we will poke them down in the pocket in a little bit. I did double layer uh, cardstock there. So, does it matter what the letters are now, does it? No, it doesn't. Because there's letters in the pocket. Okay, okay. So we've got some orange baker's twine. Well, it's orange and white. Okay, trying to pull that orange in. And we're getting there. We've only got about 25 more minutes to go. <laughs> no, it's not 25. Look at that. They all make me so stinking happy. Okay, so this one gets a bird on it. And we're using, um, I think this is Vermilion. It's the only color red I have on the inks. My blue ink pad's drying up. I've got the blue ink. I'm just, you know don't get it out to use it. Now I trimmed around that die cut some because it had the edge on it and it wasn't white but it was too much of an edge around there for me. So I did trim it up a little bit because it's kind of hard to trim up some of these die cuts. Just saying. Especially when they're the, uh, the, the chippy board kind of you know double card stock strength stuff. Anyway. And that's just some white daisies. Because when I found the bird, I, I liked it with the white daisy. So, and yes, we are going to have those uh, on the sides, those things sticking out on the sides. It'll be all right. You'll see. Well, I think it'll be all right. And we know that's the important thing. I'm like, oh, I got to put these flowers under there. They're supposed to be tucked up underneath there. So. There they go. Tucked up underneath there. Now we're sticking it all down. Molly, I don't know where you're going, baby. No, oh, Molly. Don't don't get on the keyboard. She's almost like a cat, y'all. <laughs> so we gotta glue that little side down because I didn't get quite enough glue and they're not balanced, but looks balanced on the front. And I'm like, well, we're gonna reinforce that uh, on the back with this card that's almost the same color. Close enough, y'all. And we're just going to reinforce it because, you know, otherwise they're allowed to fold over. And they might fold over anyway. I don't know. So we're going to put the bird on there. Put a bird on it. He sits right there. He looks mighty fine. Okay. Let's cut some of this excess off. Okay. Okay. And I did not wait for this stuff to dry. You really should always wait for stuff to dry. And I'm like, well, cut it with the scissors and don't cut it with the scissors. Get out the cutting board and use a craft knife on that stuff and cut it up. And hopefully my voice is not too far out of the sink. In the sink. My voice is in the sink, y'all. Just trimming around. It's almost time to uh, break that piece of the blade off. 
I'm happy with it. It is best to let things dry first, all the way, completely even. So, wait, oh, I popped that whole piece out. Looks like I cut it off, but it popped all that whole piece off right there. So now we're going to stick it back on. Stick it on there and leave it alone. Let it dry-ish. We'll continue on and do the other stuff. This tag, we'll just keep going. Put some diamonds on it. Oh, I like my diamonds, y'all. This time we're using a brighter red diamonds. Mm -hmm. I don't know that this is a robin. I don't really think it's a robin, but I guess it could be. I normally, when I see robins around here, they got a real big old giant chest belly, you know. And um, they're a fairly, fairly good sized bird. At, at least the size of a large pearl. A uh, pearl pear. A <laughs> large pearl. Large pear, y'all, to me. The ones around here are pretty, pretty doggone big. Not as big as blue jay, but pretty big. Now, there's some yarn I got on clearance from the Tuesday morning for like 50 cents. Oh, no, I got that at the charity shop for like 50 cents. Nice, too. And some maroon colored um, crochet cotton thread. Mm -hmm. Just cutting that stuff down to what I think is a reasonable size. Answering the text message. So, and I don't know if you noticed, but I twist when I'm using the different fibers. I twist them together, and that makes it more more uh, solid, like thread. And it's just for me easier to get them to uh, fold up in that slip knot of sorts. So, we've gotten over 35 minutes on their video, so we've only got 25 more to go. <laughs> not really. No, not that long. And I thought, this one needs a sentiment, so I found one. My computer printed ones. And I think this is one I thunk of. Can't remember it off the top of my head. But maybe we'll see it in a close-up. And I just stick it right up there. I'm like, yes, that's a perfect spot for it. Right up there. Right up there. Right there. Right there. And what's it say? Curious Splendor. Doesn't that sound lovely? I think that sounds lovely. And I think this is our last tag. Now I had everything all figured out where I was going to put it and this time I took a picture because this one looks a little more complicated than some of them other ones we did already. <sighs> Do y'all like long videos? That color, what color is that? I don't know. I think that's the plum again. I don't know what color that is. It's not red. I thought, oh yeah, let's make this pocket come up higher. Okay. So I have a doubled up piece of cardstock that's two pieces of cardstock that's been glued together already. And we're gonna cut off a thin strip. Now y'all have seen me do this before, just not in this video. And we're going because this is gonna be a pocket, I want to pop it up some. So just a little thin strip down there and we're going to put it on three sides because we're popping up the three sides. It just makes it easier to slip things in and out of the pockets instead of them being flat, flat against the back. Back. <laughs> and that one strip turned out to be the perfect amount. How serendipitous. Love serendipities. Okay, yes, now where's it go? Get it all back lined up so we can kind of more or less get it back where we really thought we wanted it. And I think that's where we want it, so we're going to actually glue our pocket down now. Mm-hmm. 
I can't worry about the voiceover matching the video or not. I'd never get nothing done. And I don't know what's up with my other camera was acting so weird. I don't know. It could be the computer and not the camera at all. That is my computer held together with duct tape out there. Just saying. He says, uh, this is um, some of the patina bits, I think. Pretty sure. Feels like it's been a year since I did all that now. Has it? I don't know. I like that, though. That's nice. That looks nice. I think it looks nice. It's like, yes, put the curvy one up here. There's my picture. <laughs> Uh, take a picture to remind me how I wanted it. Wanted it. Something like, sort of, something like that, sort of. And I did cut off a little piece off that floral swag. And uh, it just it fit right in there. It's just like, yeah, just stick it right there. How perfect. Ta-da! Perfect. That's a pocket. That's a piece of release paper I had over there from when I did the letters and glued the letters together with um, a Xyron sticker maker. Little, I have a little tiny one. So, that's going right there. The little swag. A little swagger going on. Nice. I think everything gets... Um, diamonds on it y'all this this time around we I think we made seven tags was it seven feels like a million I did get tired of making them y'all just saying in case you was wondering my hands disappeared what are we doing I don't know oh here's our fibers we already had these cut twisting them together it's easier to get through the hole and to uh, figure out what's what. Make sure we get all our ends through there. Otherwise, it will not stay very well. And pull each individual thread to tighten it up on there. And let's put some of these art stones in the nest uh, because there are eggs in the nest. And these are a little too round because, you know, eggs aren't round. They're oval, egg-shaped even. <laughs> but they're the same color, so we're doing it. We're doing it. And I did not put anything in the pocket. I wouldn't, I just didn't. I don't know. I didn't have to, did I? No, I didn't have to. Ta-da! How cute. Talks about boots or something. Boots and pants. No, just boots. So we're going to take over our leftover rusty patina bits and put them in the baggie for use later on. Photo montage! <laughs> I appreciate each and every one of you. Your likes, your thumbs up, your kind comments, um, your subscriptions, your valuable time. Thanks for watching, and, and, happy artin', y'all!